Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And this episode is kind of a self-reflection, which is to say that it's an episode that questions something. And I want you to be part of the dialogue. So whether it's down in the comments sections or on social media, you know, hit me up at Phil Svitek. I want you to offer up your thoughts about this in terms of what I'm about to pose. So what, what I've been thinking about lately is the duality or you can call it the nuances of life. Meaning that oftentimes in life, there's, there, there's both good and bad, right? It's not like in life that everything is just fully good or fully bad. And I think, at least for me, I don't know about you, and this is, this is why I want you to participate, there are times when, you know, that's just really hard to grasp, right? You know, we, we like to have things be a little bit more singular instead of uh, those gray areas of life, right? Uh, because it's like, how do you grapple with that, you know? What if, here's a prime example, what if you got this great news that, you know, you, you get a promotion at your job, so a better title, better pay, and so forth, yet we're in the pandemic, and, and you know, that same day a report comes out that, I don't know, I'm just going to be egregious with it, that 10 million more people lost their, their jobs. And it's like, okay, you know, now how do you, you know, do you celebrate that victory for yourself? Do you kind of shy away? And it's like, well, uh, you know, like, what do you do? Because you don't want to be spinning in the face of anybody, but at the same time for you, this is great news and so forth. Um, and that's a weird duality, right? And it's like, well, both things ultimately can be true, can't they? Like, this is a cool thing for you. Um, but by also seeing the horrors of the world, it's all the more reason why you can be grateful, you can appreciate it, and maybe, you know, if you kind of look at it in a certain perspective, maybe there are ways that you can now utilize um, your new job and your new position to help some of those people um, and affect change, you know, by being now, you know, assuming like in a, in a higher leader position, right? Maybe not the top tier, but at least somewhere in the middle where you have some access to the higher ups and, you know, you can sort of be a bridge, right? This is just one example, but you know, I think, I think one of the things of like self-help and things like that is that the fallacy is to think that we, we just can put on these blinders to everyone else. And it's like, well, I feel good. I'm, you know, then, then life is rosy and so forth. And I think when you, part of self-help and self-care is to get to a place where you, you have just your observant self and your observant self is not judging. And your observant self can see both the good for what it is, and it can see the bad for what it is, and and therefore make a determination of the best course of action. And I think that's the place, you know, I certainly want to get to. I think you know when when one speaks about enlightenment, that is to me what they're referring to, or at least an aspect of it. Um, and and I think it is very hard. Like it, it it's something that we have to ultimately train ourselves to see. And as I kind of continue in my life's journey, you know, it is interesting. I, I almost, I don't know, in a, in a weird way, welcome pushback on any idea that I have. Because then I think, you know, ultimately the, the, the middle ground of perceiving something to me seems the best one because, you know, whether one extreme or the other, um, there's inherent things that are going to be flawed with it. But when, uh, when you really combine those things, have a constructive dialogue, um, or so forth, you can have meaningful action to, to, to ensure the best possible outcome. I mean, certainly uh, an investor like Ray Dalio, his, uh, his company, uh, Bridgewater Associates, is built upon this. If, if you're not familiar with Ray Dalio, he is quite literally, in terms of investments and you know just pure numbers, a better... Um, investor than than Warren Buffett. Now, it, it, he'll be the first one to claim it's not because he himself is so great. It's because he set up a process for this. And part of that process is to have a diversity of thought. Um, he literally makes it impossible for someone not to speak their mind. And 
And when they do speak and it's an counter, it's an opposition to the group, they're not berated for it. It really gets questioned of like, okay, why do you think that is? And let's really work that out. And oh, okay, that's a cool point. Um, and I wish that, you know, if there's anything for me that I really wish the world really embraced was that sort of mentality and that, that ability to process and, and see those different perspectives because it is in the, the, you know, life is in the nuance. It's in the, you know, it's the dualities of life and it's that middle ground that to me seems uh, an ever present correct choice. Um, but, you know, now, now this leads to the question of, okay, you and me as individuals, like how do, how do we grapple with this? Well, I think number one, never be, being set in your ways, o, uh, always kind of questioning of like, okay, I think this is the correct choice. Well, why do I think that? You know, what, and really examine it. You know, what's it look like from here? What's the, what's the devil's advocate uh, point? And sometimes you might not be able to come up with, with it yourself. Uh, so instead, you know, ask your friends if it's something a little bit more meaningful and significant and be like, hey, um, I just want to I just want to bounce ideas off you and can you like offer me some of your perspective and whether it's you know the same or different as mine in fact I would almost encourage it to be different and you start to you know when you do this enough times you start to see who has that diversity of thought for some of these opinions and so for me there's definitely instances uh, when I'm working through something whether personally or professionally I'll call someone knowing that that they're going to off they have a different perspective than mine and it would be a, a valuable one for the thing that I'm working on right and so that's how I kind of go about it as far as anything else um, and part of it is also just again it's that awareness but then also seeking it out you know seeking it out could be through uh, the types of podcasts you listen to the types of books you read the the movies you watch anything of this nature like you know what you consume um, that's going to really fuel your outlook on life and so sometimes you might have to you know I, I try to always make it a point to read uh, books that you know might not be of initial interest to me but it's like oh you know what let's let's check this out it might offer count and you know the irony of ironies is oftentimes the thing that I'm initially resistant against, whether a movie, a book, whatever, turns out to be the thing that actually like unlocks it and, and ends up being the thing that I, I rave about. And I'm like, you know, to my friends, like, you have to read this book or you have to check out this movie, that type of thing. Like, that's, that's the irony of ironies. So, you know, I think if nothing else, just kind of start to embrace that. And, you know, there is work required of it. Um, but I think that's what you know, the unexamined life is not worth living, as Socrates said. And so this is part of examining life. At least that's how I view it. So this, these are my thoughts. Um, you know, like I said, it's, a, it's an examination. It's a posing of a question uh, that, that I hope jumpstarts the dialogue. So in that sense, let's, um, yeah, please comment down below or hit me up on social media at Phil Speed Tech and let's chat, you know? I'm, I'm very curious to know your perspective on some of the stuff I laid out or some of the stuff that I didn't lay out, right? Um, likewise, if you think this episode might be of benefit to somebody in your life, or interest rather, by all means, please share it with them. I certainly would appreciate it. And to that effect, if, um, if you enjoyed this lesson and would care to see more lessons then i encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already done so that way you get all the various stuff that i put out when i put out thank you and i hope to see you next time